Monkey 1000. And today I was just going to do an update. Um, I haven't done anything since probably what, when I got home. So um, it was a week, ye week yesterday that I had my surgery. I'm doing fine, doing really good, I think. Um, Saturday, well, we got home on Friday, as you know. And Friday night was a little rough. Um, it's hard to sleep. It really is, because they want you to sit up. Now, if you have a recliner, you could probably be in the recliner and be fine. Um, I'd use the recliner at the motel because they had one, and it worked out really good. Um, I don't have a recliner. So, I have to sleep on the sofa and keep my head propped up with a bunch of pillows, or I have to sleep in the bed and try to prop it up. Now, I have a low bed. So it's a, one of those low, low beds, so um, it kind of makes it hard for me to get up. I have, okay, get in and lay there, but I have a hard time getting out. And you have to lay straight, and I'm a side sleeper. I sleep on one side or the other. I flip-flop all night long. So I've been doing that ever since I was a kid. So, for me to lay flat on my back with my head propped up was torture for me. So, Saturday I came home, and when we got home, Saturday was really bad. It was a rough day all day. Because I think I had to, over, I overdid it on Friday. You know, trying to get home and everything. So, um, yeah. So, if you had this procedure and you could just go from, the, from there to the house you probably feel a lot better than what I did. So Saturday, um, you know, it, it was good. Um, my throat was very sore, um, as to be expected. And on Sunday, I got to take the uh, bandage off. So I've had this bandage off since Sunday. And what they did, they glued it together. So it's kind of good because in that way it's less scarring and also um, less infection, I think. And I could imagine what Staples would have been like right here. No. So, um, yeah, I think the glue was a good idea. So it is doing really well. And it's right in the crease. I don't know how much you can see. I'll bring it up a little closer the best I can. So you can kind of see it so you know what happened. My voice is going in and out, especially at night I get tired, so it, um, it, it changes a little bit. But that was to be expected too. And I had a really bad cramp. It was like a kink in the back of my neck. And oh God, Saturday and was horrible. But um, he did give me painkillers, but I didn't take any of them. I didn't even get the prescriptions filled. I I don't take meds very well. If you give me stuff like that, I, I'm out. So I don't like to take meds very much. So I just kept taking Advil. Took a couple around here and there and when I needed them at the most. And I put lots of ice on my neck like he wanted me to. And um, So it is getting better. It's in, right now aches a little bit. I was out today, so I might have overdid it a little bit. But I'm not one that sits, likes to sit around, so ever since I've been not working, and you know, I could, I did stuff. I mean, I tried to do stuff and things would hurt, and you know, so my arm is amazing. It's amazing. I felt that as soon as I came out. I felt my arm. All that pain. I had pain from the back of my neck. It would go all the way down my shoulder, all the way down my arm. And he said that was because of the disc in here. So he said that will all go away. I would get headaches. And he said that would go away. Now, so far, no headaches. The only thing that I have, and I'm still getting it, is the kink in the back of my neck. But I think it's because when they do the surgery, they have to stretch your neck so far and um, to do the surgery. So a lot of it's probably bruising on the inside still. And this was irritating me because the tape started to um, crinkle and it would start to uh, itch. 
So I was glad but when Sunday came. I only had to keep it on three days. Thank goodness. But which is not a big deal. So I got the tape off. And then I thought, oh no, I got to take this tape off. And I was scared that it was going to be horrible. So, um, but it wasn't. It wasn't horrible. It came right off, no problem. And if I have a shower, I can have a shower, no problem. I just don't put the direct water on it. You know, and I, and I always face backwards when I'm in the shower anyway, so it's no big deal for me. And um, so, yeah, I'm quite pleased. I'm going to show you so you can see for people who, who want to see this. I mean, for people who are interested in what happened and also if they ever have to have it done themselves. You know, so there it is right there. And it's slowly coming off on the ends here, over here and over here. Now, I ain't going to touch it. I ain't pulling it off or trying to cut it. I just let it fall off on its own. And um, when I'm in the car, I have my brace, which you've seen in uh, Shaver's. If you went to Shaver 1000's videos, um, you would have seen me wearing a brace. And the only time I really have to wear the brace is if I go out shopping, ba driving, basically for the driving um, to protect it. And uh, so, anyways, um, yeah, so oop, I'm going to back you up so you don't have to see me so close. <laughs> Counting my wrinkles or my gray hairs. <laughs> anyway, so, um, um, so I'm doing good and I'm glad it's over with. Um, yeah, I think this pain because today, this morning, I didn't feel no pain over here. And right now I do. It's later. It's almost 9 o'clock at night. <clears throat> I took my mom out for a little bit. We went to the Store. We went to Dollar Tree, so um, yeah, I probably overdid a little bit, but I had to get outside. You know, I had to get out. So um, yeah, and I want to move. You know, I mean, I want to do what I can. I don't have to sit up in the sitting position anymore, but um, I only had to do it for a week, um, and that was Thursday. So, but I'm still doing it um, a little bit. I'm back in the bed, but I'm still waking up like at 4 in the morning. And I come out here on the sofa and try to fall back to sleep. So, um, yeah, once that goes away, I think, give me another week and I should be really good to go, I think. Um, yeah, I, I don't even think you're even going to notice a, a, uh, a scar at all once this stuff falls off. That's, see, that's the glue part. So, as the skin is clo closed, the, the wound you know because the skin is growing it is basically pushing that out so um it'll be all gone i'd say a couple of weeks maybe at the most it depends you know your it depends on your healing everybody heals differently and if you're diabetic which i am it really i heal i heal pretty good really for a diabetic um my father didn't it was horrible he always had some kind of sores open on his arms or whatever and it would take forever for them to close so um yeah my voice was really good today but i hear the crogginess again and i think it's because it's later in the evening but i just thought i'd let you all know i want to thank everyone for all your prayers and your good wishes um thank you very much i appreciate it i was a little bit scared on this one i don't know why i was so scared i I don't know. I had it in my head that this is not going to be good. And I, and it was more of a fear of having metal and they're going through the throat. You know, it was like, ugh. You know, um, I've had a couple of other surgeries and they've always taken things out of me, but never put anything in me. So I was a little nervous about this, but I did good and they were pleased and the doctor did call. I mean, I got to the motel and he called me. And I wasn't even at the motel that long and he had called to make sure I was okay. So, and the other day, the uh, clinic where I went to in Orlando, they called me to ask me how I was doing. So, they were a really great team. I was very impressed with their mannerism and um, they cared so much, you know. They, they knew you were nervous. They, they know. And um, every one of them came in and introduced themselves to me. Um, 
every single one that was doing my surgery came in individually and sat there and talked to me. I mean, some of them were in there for an hour. Well, I'd say maybe not, maybe about 30 minutes each. Um, you know, and I thought that was pretty good. You know, very nice of them. Um, I started to feel nauseous when I came out and they gave me something for the nausea and uh, that was gone, like within seconds. So, um, they were a really great team and they didn't just talk about surgery stuff, they talked about everyday life stuff. You know, um, the one girl I, I talked to, she, she lost her dad and I had told her what happened to my dad and it was really nice to have somebody else that, you know, has the same feelings and, and what has happened. And, um, you know, that was good. And the anesthesia lady, oh my God, she was excellent. Super. I told her about my coughing problem because I had COVID and I was afraid of this coughing through this procedure too. And you never know when it's going to come because it's getting less, but it's still there. And, um, so, you know, but <laughs> She says, hey, don't worry, everything will work out fine. And she gave me some breathing techniques to do if I, I feel like I'm going to cough to do so I won't cough while I'm healing, you know, during the beginning. Now it's not too bad. I can cough. It still hurts, but nothing like it did at the beginning. So, um, yeah, they were a really good team. So I'm very impressed with them. Um, I had surgery before. They've never, I never had every one of them that was going to be in the surgery room come and introduce themselves. I mean, I saw the anesthesia guy and he came in for a few seconds. And, um, you know, I saw my, my doctor. And that was it. You know, they never did that. Uh, so I felt, felt really comfortable knowing that they, they were going to take care of me. So. Anyways, I just wanted you all to know the update on this, and I'm going to do another video in just a few minutes. Um, so stay tuned for the next one. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, you guys have to have this done for whatever reason, and it's the same procedure. I'll put the, the, um, the name again in the description um, below, and uh, so you know. And... Um, you can look it up. I did find a YouTube, um, it was a doctor who uh, filmed it or something. And then I was sitting there going, I was telling mom, I said, I don't know if I should be watching this. And she says, maybe you shouldn't. And sometimes not knowing things is better than knowing. But I'm one of those curious medical people that likes to know what's going to happen. <laughs> so I did watch it. And it's pretty much, I think, on the on the mark of what, what happened. So, um, yeah. I think he had a couple other things that were a little different than what I was getting. But, um, yeah. So, anyways... <coughs> I'm going to say I'm out for now because I'm going to do my other video. So stay tuned and I'll put them back to back. So Monkey says she's out for now. Bye y'all.